Hi everybody, it's Max at Polar Audio here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Ampeg BA210 combo. It's a solid state bass combo with two 10 inch custom speakers and a one inch horn high frequency driver. It's got a great preamp with a whole host of bells and whistles added to it from the previous incarnation and a new angled cabinet shape that allows you to use it as a monitor wedge. Starting at the input phase, we've just got a single jack input here, but we do have a minus 15 dB pad switch, which we can activate to accommodate active basses or higher output instruments. Then the newest addition to the preamp section is this scrambler overdrive. The idea here is obviously it's a solid state amp, it's to give you some of that Ampeg signature tube style overdrive, and uh, so you can drive it hard like you would a, an SVT stack. Simple controls. We've got a button to engage the effect, which can either be done on the amp or with a foot switch. When it's engaged, it will light up green to let you know that the effect is in, in place. We've got a master drive control here, uh, which controls how much overdrive is on the signal. And we've also got a handy blend signal as well, uh, because this distortion tends to excite the higher frequencies and the blend allows us to bring in back some of that dry signal to really keep the low end in and keep things um, booming and low. So let's have a listen to how that overdrive effect sounds. Here's it clean. And with the overdrive kicked in. As I said, I can blend out some of that overdrive signal. a bit of bite to the clean signal or I can take it up a lot further so I'm getting more of the high end. So that's a nice addition to the BA series right there. Okay moving on into the main preamp section we've got our master volume right here. We've got the classic Ampeg tone stack with the ultra high and ultra low filter switches. We've got the EQ here, it's a three band EQ, everything's set at 12 noon right now. Bass, mid and treble, standard three band EQ. Moving right along, we've got an auxiliary input, so you can connect your MP3 player, your iPhone, your tablet, backing tracks and, and so forth. And that's got both a quarter inch jack and a, uh, a mini jack input. We've got a balance line put output right here for a DI, which we're using to record the signal as we speak. And then we've got a effect send and return for those uh, delays, reverbs, loopers that you might want to engage after, particularly if you're using the overdrive effect, keep things nice and clean. Finally, we've got a mini jack input for your headphones if you want to practice quietly. And we've got a high frequency mute switch uh, to take that horn out if things are getting a bit percussive and a bit too much high end. And as I say, the, the foot switch is connected here, which takes the overdrive effect in and out. Let's begin with everything set at 12 o'clock, nice and flat and neutral. This is the amp in its natural setting. So let's bring some of those filter switches and EQ controls into play. I'm going to kick in the ultra low and the ultra high to bring out the bottom end and the top end, jack up my bass and roll off a bit of the treble in the mid and we'll hear how that affects the same riff. Okay, let's check out a slap tone with similar settings just to see how that brings the amp out. Okay, so let's really go for it now with the overdrive kicked in, the fat switches in and the mid scooped out and the bass jacked up.
Okay, so that was the Ampeg BA210, uh, the flagship of the BA range. There are a number of smaller combos and the BA115 in a similar cabinet size, so check those out. These are available immediately through your local music retailer, so get in touch with them. Always buy from the UK to protect your warranty status. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed that demo, please subscribe to our channel. There'll be lots more where that came from, or leave a comment in the comments section below. I've been Max. Look forward to seeing you next time.